With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, today we have a question. The question is, there are 576 boys and 448 girls in a school that are to be divided into equal sections of either boys or girls alone. That means, for we have to divide the 576 boys and 448 girls into equal sections. Meaning, there should be equal number of students, but it should be either only boys section or it should be only girls section. Now, if we divide that, we have to find the total number of sections formed by dividing it in such fashion. Now let's see how to do this. Now number of boys. How many number of boys do we have in that school? Number of boys is equal to 576. Yes. What is the number of girls we have? Number of girls is equal to 448. Yes. Now these two have to be divided into equal sections. Now let us find what are the prime factors of these two numbers. Now what do we have? We have 576. How to find this? We have 2, 2 twos are, 2 eights are, 8 are. Yes. Again 2, what do we get? 1, 4, 4. Yes. Again 2, what do we get? We get 72. Again doing with 2, what do we get here? We get 3 are 6 and 6. Again with 2, we get 1 into 8. Again with 2, we get 9. Now here we take 3 and 3 into 3. Yes, and then this is our prime factors 3 and 1. This last step is not necessary, we can directly do it. That means what can we write 576? 576 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into is it 6? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 into 3 into 3. Yes or no? Yes. Now let us see what are the prime factors of the number 448. Yes, we have seen for 576. Now let us see for 448. Yes, for 448, how to do this? We get with 2, 224. Again with 2, 112. Again with 2, we get 56. Again with 2, we get 28. Again with 2, we get 14. Again with 2 we get 7 and then 7, 1. Yes or no? Yes, that means what can we write about 448 as 448 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 7. Yes, these are 6 twos into 7. Now what is HCF for 576 and 448? Now what is HCF? HCF meaning highest common factors. What are highest common factors? 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Yes, these are not the common factors. Therefore, HCF is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, which is equal to 64. Therefore, HCF is 64. What does this HCF mean to us in our question? That means we can divide we can divide girls and the boys in a section size of section size is 64 yes or no if section size is 64 then that is our section size we get now when, what is our question we have to find the total number of sections formed yes how many sections of boys will we get we get boys sections. What is the number of boys sections we get? We get 576. Total number of boys 576 divided by 64. Yes. Now what is 576 divided by 4? Let us do this. This is 8 8 are 64 and this is 8 7s are 8 7s are 56 and 72. That means this 8 and 9. Therefore number of boys section is 9. Yes, boys sections is 9. And now, what is the number of girls sections? Yes or no, girls sections is equal to 448 divided by 64. Yes or no? That means, how much do we get here? 
we divide this 8 8 sa, 8 5 sa, 6 sa, which is equal to 7 yes we get 7 girls sections and 9 boys sections therefore total number of sections formed Number number of sections formed is equal to 9 plus 7 which is equal to 1 6 16 yes is this clear we have we we'll get 16 sections formed thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today